So it wasn't a brilliant start to the competition, but there is certainly no cause to panic just yet. The place in the next stage is well within reach if, and it is a fairly big if, they can take all three points here to add to the solitary point they already have in the bag. There are, of course, so many permutations, combinations that the various potential outcomes of this game could lead to, but there is never any space for debate as to what the team should be going for. They know what they've got to do. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Slovakia braced for their anthem. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. Truly a crunch game, a time for both sides to deliver. Yeah, Peter, and the mood in the stadium very much suggests that now is the time to kick on and ensure that three points are, are added to their opening one. Not a time for holding back. They can instead make a statement here, telling the rest they're going to take control of the group. So it's down to business here. It's here. Yeah, Marek Hamšík. He's got great vision and fabulous technique, Peter. So he just seems to be able to put the ball exactly where his teammates want it. He chips in with plenty of goals too, and he's another one of those modern playmakers who excels when it comes to supporting the attack by making those late runs and popping up and hitting the back of the net. Okay, interesting. Grignard knocks it away. And out to safety. Lindelof. And it's played forward. Larson. And that has been cleared. Slovakia have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Loses. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Larson. Some good stubborn defending there. Larson chooses to go back. Forsberg. Oh, that's neat. Now the counter. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Oh, great ball! There are a few waiting for it. Ekdal attempts a clearance. And it's Hamšík. Has a pop! 
And the ball's come out. Well, that is us. And in again. A great save. Real class. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Forward it goes. Fist. So who can spark this game into life? Sweden have it back and they can go again. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. was venomous. Tries to get it forward quickly. Forsberg tries to switch the play. Lindelof drives it forward. And the whistle goes for half time. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So, reviews on the first half. It's been a pretty abject performance. No effort at goal. I'm struggling to remember it the last time we had that. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil there. And we are already promptly back on the way. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. And here's Hamshik. Or Berg. Berg. Ekdal. Forsberg. Cuts it out. Out to the right. Larson. Lovely feet. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Ekdal. No breakthrough and well into the second period. It is still anyone's game. Well played, he saw that coming. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. And it's Kuchka. Nicely controlled. Kuchka. Hoists it forward. And Sweden can break here. Plays it out to the flank.
And he's on a charge. Lustig. Loss. Just brushed off the ball there. Larson has got himself a free kick. Sweden merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Slovakia have themselves a corner, I think. Yes, they do. They've played it short. It's one! This has been a try. Kuczka certainly could have and should have made more of that. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Oh, it's taken out, that'll be a foul. And it's Larson. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be outmuscled. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches, satisfied by organisation and solidity. A little cutting edge at either end, and it finishes nil-nil. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Sweden can always take more positives from a result like this. Yes, there is some tidying up to do, but some real promise too.